So we got a few new packs for The Sims 4 yesterday, one of which is a country kitchen set. And naturally this one really excited me, as you can probably imagine as a person who's obsessed with building and also with like little cottages. And so I've been dying to build a house with it since yesterday. And this morning I was kind of like scrolling through some pictures, you know, looking at some inspo. Yes, this is a children's playhouse, but isn't it cute? I want to build like a little tiny cottage. Also, this one intrigues me. It's also a, a playhouse for children. Um, and this one, which is a very different vibe but you kind of get the idea. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna build just yet, but this was my inspiration. I just want a little tiny cottage with a, a pastel purple kitchen or something. I don't know. We'll see. But look at this. The entire kitchen is directly inspired by this, this purple swatch. You know, now that I think about it, this one really is, it's speaking to me. I think I'm gonna build it. <laughs> I think I've already built this though, or at least tried to do something similar. Oh well. Ew, not that tall. This is a very small lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm warning you right now, this is gonna be very small. Oh no. <laughs> Everything's only three tiles wide. That's actually really bothersome. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe this one should be four tiles wide. And if maybe if it was like, I, mm. we'll figure it out. This will be fine. This is a really weird shaped house. I should have put it on a bigger lot. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that's what I think the second floor needs to look like. When you do this without a roof, it looks so weird, doesn't it? I swear it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Just give me a second, I promise I'll make it work. I have no idea what the back is meant to look like on this. I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Does that have to be smaller then? Oh, that looks right, actually. I think, well, the one in the picture is like a bit taller. One, two, three. No, that's fine. I think that actually looks really good. <laughs> yeah, I like genuinely really like this house. I, I gotta admit, I'm kind of into it. You have to do so many little pieces to make it fit. It's so annoying. <laughs> like just to make all the little edges blend in together and stuff, I need to have so many of these little tiny pieces. Okay, that looks perfect. Although one issue, I have no idea what the back should look like. I guess something probably a little bit similar, right? It doesn't have to be very complicated. What if we did something like that? Is that really weird? <laughs> should it be like the opposite side? Maybe it should be, wait, like that? You know what? I kind of like that. And then we can do the wraparound porch roof again. Mm, no. <laughs> Don't like that. Don't like that. Maybe we made it flat instead. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. This is a weird house. All the random boxes I've got up here. Oh boy. Okay, this is fine. It'll look good. It'll be good. Sometimes I feel like these things have to get worse before they get better. Oh, here's a fun thing I noticed. So you see the little sparkles? That means the floor is clean. I found out how to disable the vacuums if you want to, because you might not always want your floor to sparkle. It's underneath pack settings. There's not a scroll bar, so it's very confusing. But if you minimize the two UIs for Get Famous and Eco Lifestyle, you can turn turn off bust the dust. It's just there's- oh now there's a scroll bar? What the heck? Oh very weird. Well minimize, disable, apply changes. <laughs> and that's how it works I guess. I don't know. Some some sort of glitch there but then you can turn off the bust the dust if you don't want it to sparkle. Oh it's still sparkling. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna deal with that later. I think we need to use the new one. Honestly, I think that color also looks very nice. <laughs> but I really like that actually. I wonder, it's hard to see this light, this lot has really bad lighting, but I think that looks pretty good in most lighting, right? Yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna use just get together and the kits. I want the get together columns and spandrels and stuff. Although I probably could do it with base game. Yeah, that's a nice touch. I quite like that. I always like to do this where you make the porch like wrap around the corner. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> so I always do that in my builds when I have a wraparound porch. What? Oh, that's a weird glitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? No. Why is it broken? Come back. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I go to manage worlds and come back. Maybe it fixes it. Okay, false alarm. Problem solved, everybody. Don't worry. <laughs> We're back. Hmm. I want to like alt place these to be like one big window, but then it's too close to the, <sighs> I guess if it was higher up. Well, that's probably fine actually. How does it look from the inside? Yeah, that's okay. Aren't you so glad that we can alt place windows now? Can you believe we had a world where we couldn't do that before? It's like a whole different game. <laughs> Sometimes I look back on that and I'm like genuinely in shock that we we had to live that way. I want more doors like this one. You know what I mean? We need more of this. <laughs> this exactly, please. I have no idea how to do the windows on this part. See, I didn't even think about that. I guess that's actually probably fine, right? And maybe some flower boxes on the bottom one. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, I think for now that back is good. I'll, I'll do the windows on the sides once I know where the floor plan is because then we can figure it out. This house is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I was aiming for a small house. This is not so small. Uh, the stairs have to be sideways somehow. Don't really know where to put them. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay. What about that? I guess then there could be like, oh, 
Well, that's all right, because that's a bathroom. Look, so we've got a bathroom and two bedrooms upstairs. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not supposed to be massive. I don't really know what to do with the downstairs, though. I guess there could be a bathroom here. We'll have to, like, make a, a formal entryway, which I guess is pretty realistic to have, like, a, an actual entryway closed off. Okay, I'm thinking the kitchen could go here, and I'll probably close it off. Like, I'll put an archway into it. I mean, this is supposed to be an older house, right? So they'd probably have, like, a slightly more closed off floor plan. And even then, it's not even that closed off. Like, we're gonna have the living room here and then, like, a dining table there. It's not really good. I wish it was different. I don't know how to lay it out better, though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, you know what? That works. That's fine. Okay, so this will be a bathroom back in that little corner. So it's a two-bathroom house. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's a really good size, to be honest with you. And a very large living area, apparently. <laughs> So, my bad there. But maybe that's nice, you know, a nice big living area. I wanted it to be small, but oh well. <laughs> I'll take big. I'm gonna use the new tile as well in the kitchens and the bathrooms. I might even put the stone in the entryway. That happens sometimes. That's a thing. I'm not making it up. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to quickly do a little bit of landscaping. Oh, please stop jumping up. Okay, fine. Why? Whatever. Never mind. I don't want landscaping on the side of the house. I'm trying to quickly throw in a tiny bit of landscaping, though. I have an idea for something interesting. I'm gonna put this. Look, now hear me out. It's very weird. <laughs> but we're putting this random piece right here because I want it to be rounded. You can kind of see the lines, and for that, I am sorry. I don't really know how to change that, but this way we'll have like a little rounded patio, which I think is nice. I think it's a good touch. My God, this house is gonna be so expensive. <laughs> I can just tell already. I'm putting all these expensive things down. It's gonna be a nightmare. Look, I said I was building a cottage. I never said it would be cheap. <laughs> it will be base game and the kits only though. So that's nice. What? Oh, weird. Look, because it's on, you know how we have that weird little corner? For some reason, one of the chairs keeps disappearing. That's a very weird glitch. <laughs> I don't like it. I can't click on the chair either. Do you see that? Okay, maybe we try again. Maybe I'll get the table back and do it again. Yeah, that one's fine. Okay, that was very weird. I did not like that at all. I wonder why that was happening. I've never seen that before. All right, I am starting with the kitchen. It has to happen. I'm doing it. And I'm gonna be honest, I really, really want to use the floral wallpaper in the kitchen. <laughs> it just, it speaks to me. That's what I'm going for with this. That makes sense, right? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really tell. The kitchen's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. I wonder if we did like, I don't know, would it be super weird to have a square island in the middle? Yeah, I think the kitchen's a bit small for that. <laughs> it was nice before. Don't mess with it, Kayla. It's fine. Oh, how weird. Wait, that is the one thing with these cabinets is there's so many different odd shapes. They're kind of hard to fit together. No, that makes sense, right? That works. I quite like that, actually. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Wait, does it not come in purple? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, no shelf then. That's fine. I think that actually is okay. The shelves being like that, right? Like that kind of works. Oh, the new stools by Harry kind of match the wood, but uh, it's like slightly off. Maybe I'll just use the white ones then. It's one of those things where it can't be too close because then if it's slightly off, it like is very obvious. It either has to be the same or completely different for it to look okay. I really feel like there's too many counters in here. What if we did something like this? I know that's super weird, but it's an old kitchen, you know? Like, is that a okay. I kind of like it. And maybe we could stick the trash can in like one of the corners. Just totally block the cabinet and drawer. That's fine. This is going to be very nice when I'm done with it. Mark my words. One of tea and one of cookies. See, isn't that nice? <laughs> A bucket of potatoes. That works. <laughs> I think I basically want to make it so that the counters that are, in, that are in weird places are kind of unusable, if that makes sense. And then kind of force the Sims to use the islands to prepare food because then they're easier and, and less out of the way. Like the islands and the middle counter. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's a really nice kitchen. I put some like clutter around the space, got a chicken on the wall, all the bases are covered. <laughs> I really like this. Okay, I got a little bathroom for us downstairs. No shower, just a tub. And then upstairs we have a shower and a smaller bathroom. Kind of looks the same, but it works. Very simple entryway, obviously, it's just a walkway. <laughs> Hang up your coat, you know, drop your keys on the table. I'm trying to think what color scheme we should go for in this room, because I'd like to have a lighter wood, but I don't want to have it all be blue. This is why doing it with just the base game is hard, because we have very limited options. <laughs> but we can make it work, it's fine. That's a nice layout, actually, I think, and it kind of, the color scheme kind of works. I don't know what wallpaper we should use. <laughs> I guess I've been putting this one in the rest of the house, in the bathrooms, kind of works. I wish the fireplace was different. I don't want it to look like this. 
this. I want it to be white. Why does it have to be so much? Well, that's all right. And then we can get some big windows on either side of it, maybe? This is a nice room. It's very bright. I think one of the things that I feel is most lacking from the base game is like interesting pendant lights. Cause you want to get like a pretty chandelier over the table or something, but there's not really a ton of options. So I end up using the same ones like every time. And I don't know. I just, I wish we had more interesting pendant lights that we could use. Like it's fine. I just wish it was different. <laughs> I wish I had more. I was thinking about trying to put a couple of these little like vases on the fireplace, but does that look like it's somebody's ashes? It's supposed to be like a jar. It's a flower tin, but I feel like when you put it on the mantle, it looks like it's ashes. Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, never mind. False alarm. No ashes on the fireplace. Look at this. I tried to size down the table, but now it doesn't slot properly. <laughs> So I have to like sneak a lamp on it. I have to cheat place a lamp. It's okay. It looks all right now. I think that's pretty cozy, this living room. There's not a TV, but they'll get over it. They'll be fine. Oh, maybe we could put a little office space in this room. Yeah, it's like actually a very nice in-between room. I mean, it has to be a hallway because it gives you access to the bathroom and to the outside, but you might as well make use of it. The plates are the perfect decoration. My grandma's got plates on her wall, like a bunch of fancy plates in the living room. It, I mean, it's perfect. We also have all these little items. Maybe I should stick some of this stuff. Like a little menu on the wall could be nice. I don't know, maybe a cow. I think that is a very nice little office room. Oh, hang on. Before I forget, it would not be a little Simsy build without a chess table. Perfect. Okay. Upstairs. <laughs> I was thinking about using the upstairs as like a secondary office space because originally I was gonna put a desk underneath the window. Maybe we put no computer at it, but there's a desk in case the kid wants to do their homework or something. I mean, that spot by the window is like the perfect place for a desk. I mean, what else is gonna go there? Even a chicken on the wall. Perfect. <laughs> now, I'm not sure which of the bedrooms should be the parents' room because neither of them are a super good size for a double bed, but I'm kind of thinking this one because The Sims could at least... Oh, I don't know, actually. I was gonna say The Sims could at least have a way to walk. Oh, I'm not sure. I kind of think I like it best in this room. I feel like this one makes the most sense to me in my brain. I wish they could have a nightstand, but it's not big enough, so oh well. Oh, the windows are gonna look horrible from the outside. That's okay. This is a nice room. It's the brighter one, so it's like the better room. So surely the parents should have it, right? <laughs> it's quite sad, actually. It's not a very nice looking room. Well, if they wanted a nice room, they could have bought a bigger house. So you picked a tiny cottage, you get a tiny cottage room. Yeah, this room is massive compared to it, huh? Or at least it feels that way. Perhaps we put two beds in this room? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It fills up the space. I don't know what else to put in the room though. <laughs> Maybe like a blurfy? Is that it? Oh, poor kids. That is a very ugly lamp. I'm gonna keep it, but just know that it is, that's a very ugly lamp. <laughs> I wanted to give the kids like a more lived in looking space, but I don't think it looks very good. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop. Do you know what is impressive though? This house has windows in every room, which I feel like for a cottage like this, a lot of times like the hallway and the bathrooms, you wouldn't be able to sneak windows in them, but there's enough dormer space that there's windows everywhere. It's a very bright, just nice house, I think. I think the one thing I wanna do is mess with the backyard a tiny bit, cause I don't really like how it looks. Like if I make the whole thing rounded, I think that helps. And I might center this with the, yeah, that's better, right? Can't tell. <laughs> It's a really small backyard. Like not much can really be done with it. Oh, I don't have a trash can. Oops. I'll stick it back here. So it's kind of hidden. Otherwise though, I think the house is done. Unless we want to add some more detail. Oh, uh, I'm adding more details. Like these little support thingies on the roof. They're a bit large. <laughs> is it worth it? I can't tell. <laughs> I think it is. They look really cool. Yeah, that difference is very subtle, but I think it's nice. You know what? I think it's done. I think it looks really cute. Wait, <laughs> the, the default description from the lot before I bulldozed it was, a cozy cottage with a welcoming porch that just screams relax. <laughs> Well, we that we fit the bill. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. All right, it's on the gallery if you want to download it. I'm pretty proud of this one. I think it's cute. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. God, I am so nervous. I have a very scary meeting in like 30 minutes, and I'm trying to like not think about it and do this, but I'm so scared. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes, but I'm just, ah. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs>